Welcome to another edition of the Black Bears Report. It's moving, it's a he scores! Your host, Hockey TV voice of the Maryland Black Bears, Alex Utano. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the Black Bear Report. I'm here with assistant coach Brandon Gawkin. Now Brandon, I noticed on Instagram the team was playing some basketball at API during their uh, workout. Who would you say is the funniest, goofiest basketball player and who's the best? Uh, I didn't get to watch fully, but I would probably have to say Kyle Alexiak is probably the goofiest. Uh, just a short little guy with his, his big hair and, and running up and down the court. I can hear him. Uh, the best? Uh, it's got to be tough. Probably Reamer. Reamer's good at uh, a lot of things. I feel like it would be like a weird kind of niche. Um, I could see him being a hooper for sure. Well, with the Black Bears coming back this weekend, we have Bucky returning to the den for Groundhog Day this Saturday. What does his presence bring to the team with a big series coming up against the Rebels? Bucky's, uh, Bucky's a big part. Last year, I believe we swept Northeast when it was Bucky's week. Um, so hopefully he brings some, some, good, some good energy to us this weekend. Uh, you know, it's, it's always funny kind of seeing you guys operate with Bucky throughout the week. Uh, I'll see you guys taking photos and all that stuff. So it's fun. And it's also a good reminder that Groundhog's Day is, is uh, right around the corner. So we like having Bucky around. He's fun. He's a, he's a cool little guy. Now, Brandon, the Blackbirds have been very active with the trade deadline coming up for the North American Hockey League February 6th. As the assistant coach of this team, what are your role? In any trades the Black Bears make? Well, it's a it's a group effort uh, with Clint and uh, Jason Deskins, our assistant GM. So uh, we identify players throughout the year that you know maybe are, are guys that we need to watch, and uh, just kind of doing our homework with them. Uh, you know, using our connections to talk to different coaches that they've had in the past, uh, watch video, all that good stuff. So not it's not a guessing thing. We we know what type of player we want and, and identify them, and we just really do our homework. So it's watching video and just kind of using our input uh, with, our, with our different thoughts and, and coming to a, a conclusion on our best answer. Now this Friday is college night here at the Den against the Jamestown Rebels. You play college hockey at Mercier's. Tell us, how has that experience playing college hockey helped you with your, not only your coaching, but to influence players that might also want to get into coaching down the road? Yeah, playing uh, hockey in college was a lot of fun, uh, a lot of good memories and friends that are, are going to last forever so it was something I wouldn't trade for the world uh, definitely just kind of being fresh out of it uh, can kind of help guys uh, navigate what it's going to be like and, and help them uh, you know achieve those goals so kind of just knowing what their, their stresses are and helping them with you know day to day and kind of seeing what you know is right in front of them instead of you know you know down the road uh, eventually being college so just helping them out uh, being somebody that they can talk to and, and relate to uh, is just kind of what my, I bring to it. Awesome. Well, Brandon, thank you very much for taking time out of your schedule to come talk to us. Now, the Black Bears are finally home this Friday and Saturday against the Jamestown Rebels. You can get your tickets for those games at tickets.marylandblackbears.com.